Hello there, my Scorpio collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Scorpios? You can ring my bell, ring my bell. Scorpios, you guys popped up. So what's going on with you, Scorpios? God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful Scorpio collective. Scorpios, what's going on with your all's energy? What's up? Eight of swords with the ten of swords. Everything is fine. Someone's stuck. There's a stuck energy, Scorpio. What's going on around you? The lovers. But then we got the devil at the bottom. So you got a toxic relationship partnership here. Yeah, you got a wounded energy. Is this your energy, Scorpio, or someone that you're dealing with? Yeah, there's some conflict. Six of Wands. So, Scorpios, you got a jealous ex. You got a jealous lover. You got a jealous energy around. That you're going and being happy with somebody. This was a toxic person. This is a toxic person from your past. Now, Scorpios, for some of you, this could be you need to learn from your past in order to move forward. Yeah, there's a situation you need to end because it's just uh, there's there's too much uh, water under the bridge. That's why you're being asked to walk away. Go as far as you can. Change something up. Manifest happiness. Give to yourself right now. And then you'll find that Ten of Cups. So you got an energy, an X energy around you. And then you're going to go off and be happy, Scorpios. But there's a lesson you had to learn up here. So some of you could have kept going back to the same person trying to make shit work. And you realize it didn't work. Some of you, this is like, a, this is just a, a patterned behavior that you learned growing up. And you're finally moving away from that and seeing exactly what it is you want to bring in that sort of happiness and victory. But whoever the hell you were dealing with, there's like a cycle that you keep repeating, Scorpios. Because I'm seeing that infinity here. It's like a loop. You keep repeating the same fucking thing. It's actually giving me that image of a, a fan belt on an engine, right? Powering the alternator. Some of you just keep doing the same cycle over and over and over again. I think you're going to break it, though. Because you know what that reminds me of? The uh, fan belt release lever down there. Any of you that's changed the fan belt, there's a lever that you have to kind of pull down on to release it in order to put the new fan belt on. So you've broken the cycle. You put the new fan belt on there. Now you're good. Queen of Pentacles, the Moon card, and the Emperor energy. Some of y'all gonna meet somebody. Could be an Aquarian energy, Piscean energy, Water sign energy. But then we got Aries, we got uh, Sagittarius, we got Aquarius, we got Pisces, we got Capricorn, we got Taurus. Ten of Pentacles. There's Leo. There's the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you are definitely going to be meeting somebody. Once you break that cycle, once you break that cycle, 
some of you, it was a learned pattern of behavior. So this is something that you've kind of repeated because that's how you've seen growing up. You've seen someone in a bunch of toxic relationships, maybe a lot of divorces. So you really didn't know no better because you weren't shown no better. You know what I mean, Scorpios? Scorpios, I'm about afraid to look at the bottom of the deck here. Four of Pentacles, Scorpios, look at that. Four of Pentacles, Death card to the Eight of Pentacles. You're breaking old cycles. Whatever you used to hold on to, you're breaking that cycle in order to move forward. Accelerated growth. And that's when you're going to meet that new opportunity. A balanced, connected relationship. Because that Three of Cups is giving me a uh, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. You're going to meet somebody that you're actually going to feel so connected to that you're definitely going to marry. Justice card here, Ten of Pentacles. The High Priestess. The Truth. Some of you are going to meet somebody you're going to be marrying. Could be someone you meet online, someone that you watch online, someone that you uh, meet on a dating app. But first, you got to break this old past cycle. You got to break that past cycle. A lot of you have. King, Queen of Pentacles. Emperor energy. But some of you could definitely have an ex holding on to you big time. You need to let that shit go. Because you're going to meet someone that you're going to marry. You're going to meet them online. You're going to meet them online. Once you break that cycle. And I feel like it's a pattern of behavior that you learned. So you could have parents that were in a very toxic relationship or just went through a lot of divorces. So you could have had a lot of stepmoms or stepdads, uh, right? That's what you learned growing up. You didn't know no better. Mm, Scorpios. You can ring my bell. Oh, Scorpios. I love that for you guys. So break the cycle. Get out there. If you're feeling the, the mood to date, get out there and start dating. Some of you could meet somebody good on a on a uh, um, dating app. Someone that you're eventually going to marry. Mm, peace, love, and light, Scorpios. 